Hi there, in today's video we're gonna talk about the critical angle of attack. By the end of this video you will know what the critical angle of attack is and why it is so important. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Hi there, I'm Gabriel from PilotClan.com. I'm a training captain on the Boeing 737. If you are trying to become a better pilot or make your ride around aviation, consider subscribing to the channel so you will not miss the next video. Before starting the today's topic, leave in the comment below if you have any questions, because for me it's extremely important you get 100% of the content. Okay, before understanding what the critical angle of attack, we need to know what the angle of attack is. I made a separate video where I talk about the angle of incidence and angle of attack difference. If you haven't seen it, please go there and watch it. I'll make, I'll make sure you're gonna have a link in the description below. But if you jump into the whiteboard, I'll show you what the angle of attack is very quickly. Alright, looking at the whiteboard here, okay, I'm gonna draw your aircraft in here, okay, sorry for, my, for the drawing, I know it's not perfect, but it's really the best I can do. This is your aircraft and this is your wing, okay, so here we go. So there is, this is the leading edge and this is the trailing edge of your wing, okay, the front and the back of your wing. If you draw a straight line from the trailing edge to the leading edge, okay, this is called chord line, okay, this is a chord line, the, the line that actually goes from the trailing edge to the leading edge. So when you're flying, you have a relative airflow, okay? The relative airflow is this one, okay? The, the air that actually goes over the aircraft because you're flying, going forward, you have a relative airflow uh, going to you, okay? The angle between the relative airflow and the chord line, it's the angle of attack, or AOA. Okay, the angle of attack is the angle between your relative airflow and the chord line. Okay, now the critical angle of attack is an angle of attack that normally is between 15 and 20 degrees. So that means that if I should draw a wing, okay, this is the wing, okay, this is the trailing edge, the leading edge, this is the chord line, okay, and this is the relative airflow, okay. The critical angle of attack that normally is between 15 and 20 degrees, okay, is the angle of attack at which you will stall regardless of your speed, okay? So whenever this angle, the, the angle of attack gets to the angle of attack that is critical, again, between 15 and 20 degrees, depending on your aircraft, your plane will stall no matter what speed. But why does it stall at this critical angle of attack? Let's make a few examples. Looking at the whiteboard here, I'm gonna draw the first wing, in here, okay, with its chord line, okay, and the relative airflow, okay, the relative airflow is this one, okay, so what will happen is that this relative airflow will get to the wing, okay, and then a part of this relative airflow will go up here, okay, like that, and then a part of this relative airflow will go down here, okay, and so on, fantastic. So as you can see, when you have a low angle of attack, a zero angle of attack, one degree of angle of attack, this airflow that goes on the upper side of the wing that creates the lift, that is the most important thing for you to create to get the lift, stay attached to the wing all the way down, okay? But what happens if I increase this angle of attack? Okay, let's make another example with an angle of attack, let's say of uh, 10 degrees, for example. So again, trailing edge, leading edge, chord line, Okay, and then the relative airflow. So the same relative airflow will get to the or to your wing, and what happens is that in here you will see that the, the airflow has to do this travel here. Okay, so what will happen is that a, a part of the airflow will get in here, so it will stay connected, but then a certain point along your upper surface of the wing will start to disconnect. Okay, we start to uh, be detached. Okay. So you're gonna have the airflow connect up to here, and then from there you're gonna have the airflow that is not connected, it's not attached to the wing anymore. But what will happen if you get your angle of attack all the way up to the critical angle of attack? Let's look, let's draw down. I'm gonna make a, your wing in here, okay? Here we go, so trailing edge, leading edge, and the chord line, okay? So what will happen is that your airflow will get to the wing, okay? 
And then since you have a big angle of attack, your aircraft is like that, okay? What will happen is that the airflow cannot stay attached to the wing, thus creating this sort of uh, uh, movement here, and thus the airflow in here will be turbulent, and your aircraft cannot, uh, will not pro uh, be able to produce lift anymore. So no matter what speed you have, because you have too much pitch, the airflow cannot stay attached to the wing, thus cannot produ produce lift and your aircraft will start to stall. Okay, this is so important because it's kind of a protection for the plane because once you pass your critical angle of attack, you will stall before you actually break the plane because then you are trying, your aircraft is actually feeling too many Gs, okay? But this is another topic for another video because the angle of attack works in very close contact with your maneuvering speed and this is another video, the maneuvering speed, okay? But this is the most important thing to understand is that a critical angle of attack will make you stall regardless of your speed and a critical angle of attack is between 15 and 20 degrees normally depending on your plane. I hope you liked the video, you took something out of it. If you liked the video, give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Go to my channel, watch all the other videos and leave in the comment below your questions that you may have when watching the other videos, okay? Also go to paloclan.com where you can subscribe for free paro training content. I wish you a great day and I'll see you in the next one.